keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today, as you can see, my high flyer is finally a 99 overall. So I finally have the build maxed out. And we all know, man, like I said, I've been having such a great time for the first time ever being the lead guard for my teams. And I've been doing pretty good, man. As you see right here, you can look at my player card. I am currently at an 89.6 win percentage, so I'm basically a 90 win percentage, shooting 64% from the field, 55% from three. And again, I have a 78 three ball with this build. And as you can see, there's so much that you can just thoroughly love about it, right? 88 driving layup, 97 driving dunk, 78 three ball, 70 mid range. Yes, I have an 85 free throw because I play a lot of rec with this build. 80 ball handle that's all i have is an 80 ball handle so i'm very restricted on the moves i can get most of the animations i get are just for 75 on ball handle i only have a 70 pass accuracy this is 62 speed with ball so i don't have a 75 speed with ball to be able to get magic johnson or kevin durant hell i messed up here if i don't went 61 i would have been able to have anchor on bronze i don't even have that if i went 71 here i would have been able to have challenger on bronze i don't have that so the build is not perfect but you know what it's perfect to me because this is my first build i made it day one and i stuck with it and again at the end of the day the 96 strength is what really set this apart with the hall of fame bulldozer the hall of fame clamp breaker combination of bulldozer physical handles you name it the build is absolutely insane now we go to our s tier badges as you can see there's a lot of bronze but now you see the hall of fame bulldozer i get catch and shoot on silver chase down on silver i get fearless finisher on gold posterizer on gold right slithery on hall of fame on pluckable on silver i mean the list goes on and on ankle breaker on silver i get blow buys on bronze i don't even use that really though um physical handles hall of fame precision dunker hall of fame of course right <laughs> um and then of course area wizard catching lobs getting bunnies hall of fame um i got a move on forcer which basically is like my clamps man when you run into me i absolutely crumble you a lot of people go out of bounds with that um of course pro touch for all the layups um scoop i don't use scoops um and then of course i think the last one float game i've been doing a lot of more floats so i will be getting this hall of fame really soon on the float game giant slayer of course you know i'm always going up against the bigs so um oh yeah spin cycle doing double tap and circle getting the spin cycle going i don't do euro steps whistle of course is another one going to the basket but at the end of the day this is by far one of the funnest and that's not even a word i don't think builds to be on if you're somebody that's looking to be a primary ball handler and you just want to have the opportunity to just cook up and be very forgiving on your mistakes when you have this much strength it's very forgiving man so this is the high fire build of course you know i got some gameplay for you but again man if you want to make this build check out the link in the description and of course i got multiple videos out already on my high flyer build but again let's get some gameplay for y'all man so sit back relax grab a bit back of popcorn and i'll be back in about three seconds all right my nephews and nieces man let's head right into it as you can see i got a defensive anchor on me i'm playing center i'm running with my man tough and my man carter so shout out to tough and carter for rocking with me usually i run with a two-way lockdown but um with tough i ended up going with his sharp and we figured out a really good method of like when i'm getting boxed or whatever and i can't get to the basket to just go ahead pass it to the corner and to be able to get an easy shot from um tough by the matchup by me setting screens because i do get gold brick wall as you see i get the easy three right there but um the beautiful thing about playing center on my build is that when i have the matchup of a big defensive anchor usually i can take them to the perimeter and shoot threes it's not gonna be the easiest to go to the basket on them for obvious reasons they can match my strength they also have high interior defense again they get high, we can out rebound me as you see right there but it is always going to be the best matchup for me i want to get i do not want the lockdown on me all right i want to make sure oh my god as i cook up again i'm getting helped on so i pass the ball to the corner i'm gonna set the screen as you see right there he's gonna hit me back in the corner and then i'm gonna throw it back to him for an easy three when we get to it because but this is how we basically worked it like right? if i don't have it 
I'm going to set a screen for him. And usually he runs up to the top of key, hit the three, as you see right there. And then again right here, as you see, I cross him up. Um, I, I, this is going to be a complete mismatch, man. Like, it's all day, every day shooting from the threes. All I got to do is just take my time, and I'm able to shoot the three. This is a walk-in mismatch because a lockdown, if a lockdown's on the team, they got to decide whether to guard me or guard tough. And most of the time, they're going to guard tough. And if the lockdown's on me, I'm going to sit corner and throw the ball to tough, and then him and, and Carter will do pick and roll. So it's very, very, very hard to beat a lineup when you have two ball handlers. Ideally, though, I do like to run with like a two-way perimeter threat. That is a, a build that has like an 85 ball handle, and it has like 90 plus still in, in perimeter defense. Those are the best ones. But just tough is really comp. So obviously, we can get away with him not having defense and just going with Carter as our lockdown. So Carter, obviously, Carter is a lockdown. We're not going to step on the court without a lockdown. But I only have 70 perimeter defense. I only have 60, you know, interior. I had good rebounding. As you see, Carter right there gets it still, and he gives it right back. But that's just kind of like how 2K is right now, man. There's a lot of on-ball steals, okay? But like I said, this is the, the lineup that um, I will always go to, something similar like that. I want to be on. I want to be center. I do not want to be guard. I want to be center when I'm running threes, and it's a good matchup. So that's exactly what you should be doing if you're playing with a build like this. And you're going to have a lot of fun because sometimes you're going to go against um, – look at this guy right here just throwing some shot. But sometimes you'll go against a smaller defender – and then, of course, you're able to absolutely take him to the point, to, to the point, <laughs> take him to the paint and get bulldozer. And again, this is my patent move behind the back. You know, I always do this, man. Y'all been seeing this long enough, you know, and that's my lethal zone. So my lethal zone at the top of the key and the right um, elbow of the three point line. So I'm always going to shoot my lethal zone. So if you want to know how to stop me, just make sure at the top of the key and the right elbow, you prevent me get off that because I'm going to shoot my lethal zones. Um, I feel like that is going to be the, oh, my God, I got him jumping. He don't know what to do. He's nervous. And, of course, I go with the teardrop. So that is another, I guess you can say, aspect I put in my bag, right, to start doing more floaters and stop trying to pro stick dunking everybody because you know pro stick dunking is really broken right now. The green window is so small. So I have done more for more floaters. Right now I have my float game on silver. As you see right there, I have no respect for this guy. I'm like, yo, this shoot the ball is over with, bro. And he actually hit it. So I was like, okay, let me find out. He actually can shoot a shot. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, so I've been doing more floaters. Again, as you see right there, they're just leaving people over, and I'm getting double teamed. He falls down to the ground. I'm like, whatever, bro. Let me go ahead and get that pro stick contact dunk. All right? <laughs> so that's game one. Let's go ahead and let's slide over to um, game two. I think right now it just seems like we was on a three game, but we were just literally just coming out here just do this video. We were just having fun, but this is the first one. So again, this right here is when I got a smaller fender on me. First play of the game. Again, you see the bulldozer animation. I ankle broke him with just silver. I mean, again, like the build is crazy in my opinion. I don't have to have the crazy six, right? I'm actually able to just go to the paint. I don't have to necessarily get by you. We can just go, you know what I'm saying? You can be right there and I can just push you out the way with my 95 strength man I, I love this build so much it's so fun all right again as you see right here we're doing the same lineup um we're going against the team i'm not sure who they are they can just they know like again it's just it is what it is just another day in the park for me he almost had that bump still i don't know how he didn't get that but again i'm already down to two bars right two bars and again as you see right here i had to hit him with the bunny and then boom Bunny is a very overpowered badge, especially when you have a very high driving dunk and strength like I do. And again, like I said, I don't know what this guy's doing. I hit him with that John Wall, and I go straight back for the three. Very hard to guard. If you can shoot on this build, you know what I'm saying? It's very hard to guard this. I'm <laughs> and again, I know y'all going to be like, oh, man, you're just playing against park randoms, da-da-da, or you're just playing in the park. Let me see this build in the stage or in the pro. Bro, I play park, bro. I'm not, I'm, I ain't got nothing to prove, bro. I'm playing park. I'm enjoying life. I'm not doing anything else. Again, I hit him with the hop step for the three. Now I hit him with the hop step again to John Wall. He comes up too hard. I go straight to the basket. So it's all about just giving, just doing what the defense allows, right? Most of the time, people play off of me for obvious reasons. Then I hit threes. Then they want to play up, and then I take them to the basket. Bunnies, spin cycle, floaters, and dunks, right? Very, very, very efficient type gameplay. Very efficient build, in my opinion, man. But you see, the game is close to seven to nine. But I throw an outlet pass. I go ahead and give it to Tough for easy three. Again, I'm, I mean, I, I, I like to win. So I'm not sitting here just going to be trying to just force stuff. Nope, nope. I'm going to pass it up. I'm going to do what I got to do to get these dubs. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to finish with a very high win percentage this year in the park. And as you see right there, I get a very good block animation. I do have a 78 block. Chase down on silver. 
So don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? I can do that. And again, we're back on offense. I hit him with a, a crazy cross back. And again, as you see, I don't have anything. So I set the screen like I talk about all the time. And then he hits the fading three. So you can see the method um, and why it's important to have two ball handlers. Because I do not have a high ball handle. 80 and still on ball seals are high, as you can see right there. So, of course, I do not want to be caught in a situation. The guy that's guarding me is another defensive anchor. He's a center. So he's not even used to guarding the ball anyway. As you see right there, I cook him up, go straight to the basket. Easy money. And that's an and one, by the way. I was fouled. As you see in the bottom left, that's a shooting foul. Whistle came up on um, go, right? So just put it, just gonna put it out there. Like, I get fouled a lot going to the cup. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to 2K, man, for allowing you to finish your dunk, you finish your layups or your dunks when you get an and one. All right? Again, I get double team. This hit my man tough in the corner. And um, again, shout out to Tough Man on his, I think he's on a three-point hunter or something like that. And um, it's a GG. Same thing here. They leave him open, and we end the game out strong. So, um, like like I said, man, if you're looking for a fun build, this is the one that's it, man. Let me know in the comment section, have you made my build yet? Have you made something similar to the High Flyer build? Definitely curious to that. Again, shout out to Carter. Shout out to Tough. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon. Another banger, man. You know, when I say back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.